it's going to fold the edges under and then I can kind of roll it up or something and flatten it down like there and push this down and see see what I'm going to need to do okay That. I already got goop on my glove. Might want to do it without my gloves, but we'll we'll see. Just keep finagling with it and get her under there. It's about time the breeze comes up. Uh, there. You see there? Let's push the. It's pushed the flashing on down. It's also going to keep birds from going underneath there. Got that kind of pushed in there. It almost looks like I uh, might have to get another piece and put right there because, you know, it's funny how they'll get in any small little area like that. In fact, this piece is, I might, I might have had to have uh, made it just a little bit bigger. So I'll pull it apart here a little. Push it back in there. Like so. That's why that's why I wanted to put the caulking in there first, see. Yeah, see. Now I guess I'll be able to caulk that now down there. I really don't have to caulk that because up underneath there I've got the other bead. Okay. It wasn't so hot up here. I could caulk that. See what? Uh, let's let's just try it. Let's see once I once I caulk it, it might start running. And I kind of need to build that up a little bit. This caulking is not really going to let me do that because it's too hot up here. I may have to come back here uh, at the end of a day, let's say, or first thing in the morning, then I can put a little bit more over that. Okay, and I gotta shove some wire up underneath that. Now I'm thinking that's gonna fix it. That's gonna fix my leak and the water coming up, up underneath there. I've got the little thing there. See, I only use that much of the flashing ultimately. I can save that. Don't ever throw away your flashing. You can you can use that for all kinds of things. All right. Now that I've got that mastic, I'll also go ahead and fix that right there. I'll put some mastic in there just for kicks. And that piece can be left out. It really doesn't need to be there now, anyways, because of because the the valley flashing goes from about here on up to about here okay on both sides see how wide this one is this is the middle of the flashing right there and it goes all the way over and then it goes all the way up underneath there see so that piece is okay but since i have the caulking i'll do it if you have a little garden mat like this it's a must up here these shingles are hot and I just used that and kind of screwed it around on that. Now I've got the wire on up there a little better. All in there. And in the morning, I'll mastic that. And see, I was going to fix that tile right up there, that roof cap tile. Okay, be careful when you're walking here. See, like that. Stay away from this edge here on the, on the corners, on the valleys. Remember this tile here. This leaves from before. So I'm going to put some mastic underneath that and then I'm going to clean all this stuff around it and then give that a good caulking. But see if I do it right now, the caulking is so hot and moist in that gun, it's just going to run all over. So I need to get it uh, a little coagulated. So tonight bring it inside keep it nice and cool let it set up a little bit first thing in the morning it'll be perfect 
Okay. I'll probably put a bead of caulking right along this edge here too. Right there. And again, I'm not really too concerned about that. I'll probably put a I'll probably put a bead along here and then maybe build this up a little bit right there too. Put some more down there and let it go at that. I can't really attach that. I thought that was gonna lay flat, but because I put those screws in, it's raised up a little bit. I could have I should have allowed for that and bit this down a little bit. Now I can't do it. I could have used pop rivets in here, but I didn't have a pop rivet gun. And you know, it'll be fine. <laughs> Roofing 101 at its finest. You can do it. Hmm. Now to get back down off this roof.